Psalms chapter 57. The, to the chief musician, Al Testereth, and that's uh, Destroy Not, a Mitchum, a prayer of David when he fled from Saul in the cave. Again, another psalm we're told where you can find it. Be merciful unto me, O God. Mercy is of God. It's a proper prayer. We don't want God to deal with that. There's one thing you don't want. You don't want the judgment of God. You want the mercy of God. Be merciful unto me. Double. Verily, verily. For my soul trust is in thee. That, that eternal part of man. Which in the Old Testament was still attached to the flesh. There was no spiritual circumcision. His life and, and, and his, his eternity. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings. Now, God doesn't have wings. But I would suppose if you know some birds uh, with the little chicks that, that go and hide underneath the mother in protection, when there's a fox in the area, a mother chicken will call, will call her chicks, and they all go running underneath her for protection. That's what it means. I will make refuge, place of protection. And to these calamities be overpassed. Let God deal with it. When you got troubles and problems. Just hide underneath God and let him take care of it. And take what comes and rely on God and just pray to God. And You know, if you hide underneath his wings, you hide under his banner, under his protection, he knows what's happening to you. It'd be a lot worse if you step out away from him. That lion that's out there to get us. You hide amongst the Lord and a lot better than have the teeth bite into you. Job was protected. Twice God told, told Satan, don't you touch him. All right, don't you kill him. I will cry unto God most high. Unto God that performeth all things for me. Give God the credit for everything. Go to God for everything. God is a God that wants you to pray to him. God is a God that wants you to cry out to him. Yeah, God knows, but he wants you to cry. He wants you to ask him. James says we ask, I mean, we, we don't get because we don't ask. Then when we do ask, we don't get because it's a mess. It's for lust. We've got it all backwards in this church age. You take the old time church saying when they really prayed and they prayed for something that was that was important. You know, oh Lord, you know, let the let, you know get ready to present. Oh Lord, let them you know, let me keep my gun. Oh, you know, it's just nonsense. He, God, shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. And there's that eating again. Selah, tribulation passage. God's going to have a place of refuge for the Jew in the tribulation, Revelation 12. And don't tell me they're not going to be praying. When they go out to get their food and the shadow of death is there. From heaven. Read what happens to that Jew when they're in the sale of Petra. Or where God prepared them. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. The word. So I'm told that over there in Salem Peter in the caves that somebody went over there and hit a whole bunch of Bibles. Or New Testaments. Maybe Bibles. My soul is among the lions. Well, there's one lion. I don't think I would want to be amongst lions. Especially hungry ones. And But God is, in God is in control of the lions. There was that, 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 that prophet that God sent. And he disobeyed God. And, God, and he went on his journey. He was told that, listen... 
When you go, a lion's going to meet you, and he's going to kill you, but he's not going to eat you. And when they found the prophet, there was his ass, there was a lion, and there was a dead body. And lions have been known to eat completely the body, and only few bones are left over. That lion did exactly what God told him to do. Beyond his nature. So you better want, be very careful on how you use the word nature when it comes to God. Let me ask you, if you ever been to a farm where there's donkeys and asses, when was the last time you heard an ass speak? Well, it's not in the nature of an ass to speak. What happened to Balaam? You know, I'm told again that you can't just jump on a donkey or an ass to start riding on them. It's in their nature that, well, what did Jesus do? He hopped on that thing without a saddle or nothing that took a rain to the city. Better watch how you use the word nature. Especially when it comes to God. And I lie, and I don't mean lie as in you know, words, even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. So the lions here tells you exactly who they are. They're not real lions. They are people. And they're as wicked, well, I would say as animal-like as lions. So what do you do? Get yourself a book about lions and study how lions are, and you'll find out how these men were. They travel in packs. They devour blood. And other things you can learn about lions. You know, a lion will wait for one person. He won't, he won't attack a whole group of people. A lion will stand or sit or crouch or whatever he does at that point in time. He will watch a herd of animals and they will stake out as a, as a, a, a pack. Which one of those animals is the weakest? And they won't waste their time in the chase on the other one. They'll, they go after the, the weakest one. Or the baby. Infant. Youngest. It may not be much meat, but it's meat. You better be careful when you stay, listen, you talk about church attendance. You better watch out when you when you stray away from the church. But then again, you got a problem with the churches today. They're the lions inside inside the church. And Jesus and Paul warned you. Be thou exalted, O God. Oh, you mean we're not number one? We're not the champions? Above the heavens, S. God sits in the third heaven, above all the heavens. Let thy God glory be above all the earth. You wouldn't think that for NASA today. They got people flying around us over our heads now. They got all those those satellites for TV, television, GPS, your, your, your cell phones floating around us, watching us. Watching the enemy, supposedly. And then you got around the earth, you got space garbage. All the stuff that we sent back there that they never brought down to put in a garbage can, but they can find you and make sure you do you do and pay for your garbage. But meanwhile, NASA hasn't, and all the agencies of this world has not taken care of their garbage. And then we got little little vehicles running around and satellites, you know, on planets and, and out in the universe. And they're not doing it for the glory of God. The scientists are out there looking to disprove God, trying to find the source of life. They're trying to find that nothing that's the Big Bang. How can you find nothing? NASA, how can you find nothing? But yet you spend all my tax dollars to do it. They have prepared a net for my steps. What's that? To catch you. 
My soul is bowed down. Distraught, pain, old. As God called the, the disciples to be fishers of men, realize, guess what? Those men out there will be ready to catch you. You know what, the, you know what good net is today of catching people? People like David, godly men. Seminaries, cemeteries, I call them. Christian colleges, Christian universities are a great net. You go in there, the King James Bible believer, and you come out an imbecile. You come out with, with uh, Hort and Westcott. You say, what do you mean like that? Any modern Bible. You come out ble not believing this about Jesus and not believing that about Jesus. And, uh, you know, Moses didn't write it. And there's two Isaiahs and, and uh, Jonah. That's, that's just a fish tale. And he didn't die and he didn't go to hell. That's a net. Professing themselves to be wise and they become fools the Bible says they have digged a pit for me again That pit is a hole that they cover with leaves and branches and all that and you have no idea It's there until you fall in and It's deep that you can't climb out Into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves see la they're going to fall by their own devices. Whatsoever man sows, the Bible says, God is not to see. Whatsoever man sows, that he shall also reap. You know who gets the greatest damnation in the lake of fire? Satan. <coughs> Excuse me. There are degrees in hell. Satan's going to get the worst. Because everybody that's in hell is there because of him. My mind is fixed. Well, haven't you heard? Of, haven't you heard of Christian? Well, I'm going to set my mind to do right. Shake your head. If thou shalt believe in thy heart that God's raised from the dead, faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Salvations of the heart. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. It's not your head, it's not your head, it's not your mind. My heart is fixed. It is the heart that the atheist says that there is no God. You know why you haven't quit quit drinking? You know why you haven't quit smoking? You know why you haven't quit your sin? Because you don't have a heart condition for it yet. It can't be head. I've tried that. And it don't work. Why doesn't why doesn't AA work? Because they don't deal with the heart. You can give up alcohol. But you gotta be saved and you gotta have the heart. You gotta give it to Jesus and not take it back, I said last night. Oh God, my heart is fixed. That don't mean it's broken. That means it is set. When you take a ship and, and you're out in the ocean and you set it for a port, that's fixed. And you don't turn either way. And then what will happen when you've got a heart fixed and not your, not your head? I will sing and give praise. I got victory over it. You don't hear too many testimonies in the church today because it's all head. Christian psychology. Well, do an operation. Move their move the brain from their head and move it to their butt. Because the Bible doesn't say anything about head maintenance. It's all heart. Awake up. Awake up. That, that, that doesn't sound right. Awake up. You would say wake up. 
my glory. Now, it, there are people say, oh, my stars, my glory, my this, my... And, and, David, it, it, when he's praying here, when he's talking here, when he's got this up, it's all about God. My glory to him is God. My lands. You better watch those words that you say. Those are oaths. Those are those are uh, vows. Those are not giving credit to God, especially when you say my. Awake. Sultry and heart. They've been asleep. They've been put down. They haven't been played. I myself will wake early. The Bible's command is to get up early. Israel had to get up early to get their food in the wilderness. If, if the sun came up, it was melted. Christians will be charged for sleeping in, and it will be judged at the judgment seat of Christ. Snooze alarm is a sin. It's just what the Bible says. I fall into that. I will praise thee. No, I think it was the next week. Something like that. There's going to be a lot of praise for what? How many people are, are in the ball field? And all the commercials. But it says, I will praise thee, O Lord. Early in the morning. That's what the subject is. Among the people. Well, I'll stay home and watch a preacher. I'll listen to a radio preacher. I'll listen to a cassette preacher, a CD preacher. Now listen, if you're sick and you got something that, that can be, you know, spread to somebody else, stay home. If you're in the hospital, stay in the hospital. Even my mother, if she's got sick children, keep the children in bed, take care of them. I think God will understand if you miss church. We got in the thing today, got to go to church, got to go to church. I'll never miss a day of church in my life. And you go to church, and it's foulness, and it's crappiness, and it's junkfulness, and it's unholiness. But if you got a good church, you better thank God for it, and you better praise God for it, and you better give God to the glory for it, and you better praise the people in the church for it, and you better thank the pastor for it, and you better love the brethren if you got a good church in 2014. Worldwide. Too many churches are out there with Satan in the front seat and Jesus out in the, in the door knocking. And that's scripture. I will sing unto thee among the nations. Street preaching don't work. You know how many kinds of people that we deal with down in Daytona Beach, Florida? You know how many types of people of nations and tongues that Brother Bear deals with in, in, in Las Vegas on the Strip? You know how many people that, that Brother Knox and his church, how many nations he deals with, with all the places they go? I'm going to let my light shine. No, you're going to tell the nations. Everyone. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens. Why is that? Well, when's the last time you, you heard of a big fat comet coming hitting the earth and destroying anybody? Do you know that if the earth were to move just a little bit to the sun, we would burn up? If the sun, I mean, if the earth would move a little bit away from the sun, we would freeze up? You know, if that moon were to move just a little bit, we'd be all dead. 
the ocean out there that we live by is is I don't want to say run, but the moon just helps that ocean. That's a mercy of God that anything out there in the universe has not changed to affect us. You know what else I read? I read that there's principalities and powers out there. Satan ain't going to come down to this earth with anger until long after we're out of here. Revelation 12. And thy truth unto the clouds. I have no idea what that means about into the clouds. But I know the church is going to meet in the clouds one day. All them that are saved. Anybody who's not saved is going to be left behind. But the truth unto the heavens, I don't know. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens where he is. All the angels that are on still... On, God's side are worshiping him. The, the four cherubim are still worshiping. The four and twenty-four elders are still falling down before him. Those that have gone on before us are still praising God. You know, you know the, the, the man in, in, in hell in Luke 16? He's in torment. He wants mercy. I think we read about that. And he's not going to get it. Let thy glory be above all the earth, worldwide. Let all the world know about Jesus. Be, uh, excuse me, be. Go eat all the world and preach the gospel. When Jesus Christ comes back, the entire world is going to see him. Oh, Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in That on the cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away my sin Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art How great thou art Sings my soul.